Welcome back, brothers, to another Volvo video. Today we're gonna do some maintenance work. Nothing too special or exciting with the power makers, but at least today we're gonna do some maintenance on the rear differential, the hall deck system, because we feel like the rear is not applying like it should, so we're gonna put a filter in it and change the fluid on it. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do here is take down the exhaust so that we can get to the hall deck system. Then once we remove the exhaust, three parts to it. This is the controller, then on this side, this is the pump, and then above it is the filter. The filter's in there, you can't see it. We're not taking the pump out, the pump works, we're not replacing it, that's a whole nother, you gotta pull the drive shaft, we're not doing that. We're just gonna take the filter out and drain the fluid and put a new filter and new fluid in. Now that we got the light in here a little better, you can see the, the cover that covers the filters right there. So, gotta wiggle in there a little bit, but it's not too big of a deal. And then the filter kit that he bought is right here. Factory number from Volvo. If you're looking for it, it is right here, 307-87687. And so the kit comes with the filter, two new bolts, and the cover itself, which is totally cool looking compared to the other one. So yeah, it must be well an updated. Worth, yeah, it must be an updated cover or something. Yeah. Well worth the money he spent over seven hundred dollars. No, I'm just just kidding, people. I think uh, it was like hundred and something. Yeah. And then it's like a quart or a liter, liter, liter of. They call it AOC fluid. The part number is there. Three one three. Six, seven, nine, four, one. So obviously his exhaust is a little different than what you guys may be dealing with because we have the V-band here. There would be a stock flange though. There would be a stock flange. Stock flange here. So you could, I don't think with the rest of the exhaust, but you could take it off here and then take the rest of your exhaust down. We're not gonna bother. We don't have to. We're just gonna leave it like this. Okay. Yeah. And then you might just want to replace a gasket if it's bad, if you guys have the flange here that you're dealing with. But then yeah. Cause then it just hangs over here and it'll pivot right off of these hangers here that we welded together. So this thing's still looking crusty, not getting any cleaner, but at least the tip still looks good. Nate has thought otherwise about pulling his exhaust down. Now that he realizes when his fluid comes out, it will be all over said exhaust pipe. So this is the drain here. Let me change some lighting here for you. The drain is right there. Um, to be honest, I'd rather see the motor be pulled out because you can see that this would be the lower center or the lower portion to where more fluid would come out because that's not like on the bottom, but whatever, we're just dealing with it there. But yeah, so he's gonna pull the exhaust down right now, get it out of the hangers with our awesome hanger tool. If you guys have checked that out, put it in the description as always. I see a lot of you guys are buying it, so hopefully it's working out for you guys. Let me grab this pipe before it falls down. So he's currently taking off his plug for the motor. It's a little bit easier to get the, the drain out. Break it. These wires are like right in the way of the plug there. Using a screwdriver, probably on because it's dirty down here. So the best way to get them is either within this super long uh, socket fitting, 3 h drive. He's actually using a torch bit on this because that's the only one we have that's super long. Otherwise, you got to use an angled Allen key. Cause that's what the fitting actually is in alley key or trying to torx just because it's the long one that we have so hopefully it'll do the job we'll see well because he's afraid of breaking the tool and also stripping the bolt he's getting an allen wrench it's a is it a six it is a six it is a, it's a six millimeter but he doesn't have one very valid hammer it in there make sure it's fully seated before you try and twist it Otherwise, you will definitely strip it out and then you'll have some serious issues. So he is doing the right thing here by hammering in there if he can. But he's fighting with the wires. And then to get leverage, he's using a wrench on his, on the, move your hand real quick. So you see how he has a wrench on the Allen key so that he can actually get in there and pull on that bad boy. Does not want to move. <laughs> it's starting to strip the hole out. 
it's starting to go kind of crooked. Well, it's just, it just needs so much force to move it. So it's actually starting to strip that a little bit. So what we're gonna do is take a punch or a, something that's as big as that plug and hammer on it. Hopefully it'll rattle it and vibrate it loose a little bit. A lot of times that works with like brake bleeders and whatnot. So we'll try it here and see if it works in this application. Okay, so he is currently taking out the fill plug because the drain plug is starting to strip and round. So we're not playing that game. We were thinking about heating it, but there's too many precious things around it that we don't want to hurt. So what we're going to do is pull out the fill plug, which is right y'all. And we're just going to get our little, we have a syringe, which it's one of those. Yeah, it's, it's one of these that you get from a party somewhere. You just keep this because it's a great tool and they probably got them on Amazon. I'll probably find them for you. For jello shots, these were good. They almost has a little jello shot in it. We should take some. But anyway, put a small little hose on that and then a little small little hose on that, stick it on in there and suck out as much as we possibly can because we're not gonna get that drain out. We're not gonna hurt it, so we'll go after that way. Despite the crustacean all over this Paulbeck system, the plug looks really clean. It doesn't look like there's a lot of trash in it. Nate's cleaning it off right now. This idea may be a little more difficult than we imagined. Oh, he's getting some. That's nasty. Just saying. Oh wow, I think it's been way overdue. Yeah. Oh, that is nasty. I think that filter needs to be done. Yeah. <laughs> now that we've got it all out, look at the color of this. Look how sloppy it is. That's nasty. See all the clutch particles in yeah. there. Yeah, so this, uh, this may need some more than just fluid. <laughs> Hopefully not, but either way, this is definitely gonna do a big, yeah. big, big difference. Luckily, the, fluid and these everything things filter. are very like, tough, I've heard. Like, yeah. You can drive with no uh, all wheel drive however long you want, and it's not gonna hurt anything. So. Yeah, well, Ray, yeah, especially because it's electronically as as it's not controlled. Slipping, which... <laughs> it's questionable. Next is the filter. filter not my home. So we're gonna sneak up on in there and do this two bolts hook we were talking about. So now he's going after, what size were those anyway? They were fours, I've already broken them loose. They were fours, he already broke them loose, he cheated. He's not showing you the true nature of the beast here. Yeah. But uh, easy enough to get in there with a wobble head, long extension. Two wobble heads, the four millimeters. Oh, he's got two wobble heads on it too. Yeah. They're compounding over here. I'm about to see how nasty this filter really is. I almost had it. Out at. Yeah, it did. Thing rocketed. This fluid looks so nice. Boys, I had to take a phone call, or ladies, and I didn't see him pulling the filter out, but uh, it's really nasty. Trust me, this thing stinks really bad. And the fluid color on the ground is black. So it's nasty. Yeah, so look at the new one versus the old one. You can see it's supposed to have white in there, but that's non existent in this one. So, oh, and the spring rocketed this thing out. Yeah, That's the what that was. Fucking, yeah. So, this is what we're dealing with. That is definitely a necessary item. And now we're ready to put this bad boy back on and put it in and fill it up. There's a little gasket in it, like a nipple thing that goes in inside. The spring goes on the outside. And then just kind of shove it in the hole. Bit of seat. And then you oh, it your... seats? Yeah, the little nipple and the ring. Holds it in there. Put your new cover. Trust me, he's putting the cover in right now. Don't forget to lube your O-ring so it doesn't rip when you push it in there. Take it back out, lube the O-ring. Because <laughs> if you tear that O-ring, you're gonna get a new one and you probably can't get it by itself. You'll probably have to get the O-ring back in another kit. Maybe not, I don't know. Either way, lube it. And then simply thread your bolts back in. Kind of hard to get up in there. He's using one hand above the drive shaft, one under. To start him. Put it back in. Okay, so now he's going to fill the fluid and he's walking away. So, because of the way or where it's at, as you guys were seeing earlier, it's like all the way up in that corner. 
So what we're gonna do is use the same syringe that we used to empty said fluid, and we will just inject it into the system. Like, wow, look at the difference. That stuff's nice. <laughs> All so then, uh, they do have a specific filling procedure. So what he's gonna do is fill it all the way up, just like you would like a manual transmission or differential, till it comes out of the drain plug, and then they want you to take what, one milliliter? Point one milliliter. Yeah, point, point one liter. Point one liter So out, 100 milliliters. Which luckily we have a syringe with measurements on it, and we'll just use that. You could also, they do give you like specs to how much it takes, it takes 650 milliliters. Oh, that's true, yeah, so we could measure that and just inject it that way. But I would rather have more than and I don't know how much is in there. Very true, because we, we didn't get the drain plug out, so we don't know if it's full, full or not. I did get a lot of it out, though. Yeah, cool. So yeah, so he's gonna fill that up, and then we'll take it out. We'll show you how we measure it coming out, and then go from there. I said, I think it's I got full. most of it out. By the way, it's full, it's dripping. We made a mess, whatever. Because this is a one liter thing, and it took uh, a little over half a liter. Yeah. So. Again, we don't know how much we got out, so. But I guess we could have measured it off of that to see how much we actually are supposed to put in there. But again, we don't know how much we pulled out. Gotta remember that. So now he's gonna pull exactly 0.1 liter out. I guess we're gonna go. So we have, uh, what is that, ounces? So there's ounces and then on the other side, no, that's it. Gross. Easy party, don't forget, easy party guys. Don't know how, what's conversion to ounces to liters. <laughs> Let's get our handy dandy phones out. Yeah. See what our conversion is here. So. Mechanics, not scientists. <laughs> uh, 0.1 ounce, or 0.1 liter. One liter. <laughs> so, oh, look at that, it's all coming up in my search results here. So we need 3.3 US fluid ounces is 0.1. There's, that, that's, not, that's not correct. Yeah, it is. Well, then these are milli ounces or something. It's worn <laughs> off. There was too many shots taken. <laughs> nah. -uh. All right, back at it. We've come to the conclusion that we don't know how to count, and this is not. We're not sure because the numbers are so rubbed off of yeah, that thing. This is not. We're accurate. just gonna kind of roll with it. We're gonna take out like a bunch. And we guessed with. Uh, we basically fill the syringe up in between one dash versus another, and it was a whole syringe. So he's just gonna take out the whole syringe one whole syringe and call it a day and we'll be fine. So, there we go and we're ready to go. Is it gonna sound any different? Air filter swooshing. Give me the beans. Okay, so now that we've got all the fluid in there, what he's gonna do is actually work the oil into the system. What Volvo recommends you do is you take some tight circles in both directions like he's doing, so that it actually gets the fluid into the clutch packs, because if you're not going tight or turning one way or another, then it's actually not getting into, the, in between the individual clutch disc materials. So, that's what he's doing. And then he's gonna go run. Don't forget about the Bob sticker on the back. You probably can't see it. Damn, that thing sounds good. Well, that's gonna wrap this up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got a good enough lesson on why you should change your fluid, because that stuff was so nasty. 260,000 miles, though. You kind of figure it either was never changed before or it's been quite a long time. But either way, let me know what you guys think. Comment below, we always like to answer questions. Like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.